This video will discuss general recommendations for replacing a model 182 or 206 wing leading edge skin in the field using alternate installation procedures. If your Cessna 182 or 206 aircraft has damage to a wing leading edge that is beyond localized repairability, the wing skin will require replacement. However, the original nose ribs are metal bonded in place via a film adhesive using an autoclave. Only a few tack rivets were utilized during the bonding procedure to hold the nose ribs in place. This metal bonding procedure cannot be duplicated in the field. Therefore, the recommended procedure is to replace only the leading edge skin and any nose ribs or stringers that are damaged as applicable. A cold bond procedure with added fasteners is used to secure the new wing skin to the wing structure. Please note, this video is not a detailed step-by-step -step how to procedure, but instead provides general recommendations. Record the type and size of fasteners used to secure the wing leading edge skin, assuming of course someone hasn't installed the incorrect fasteners during a previous repair or oversized them beyond minimal edge distance. The original fasteners are driven type in virtually all areas except where the integrated fuel tank is located. Carefully remove the existing fasteners, taking care not to oversize the holes. Using a heat gun, soften the original bond adhesive at the nose rib locations. Carefully separate the skin from the nose ribs using a plastic scraper to loosen the bond adhesive. Once the leading edge skin is removed, do not completely remove the residual bond adhesive from the nose ribs. Only sand as required to create a smooth surface if there are any lumps in the remaining adhesive. Inspect the nose ribs, forward wing spar, and other substructure for corrosion or other damage. Rectify these issues as appropriate using the applicable service manual, service document, part replacement, or by contacting team structures for assistance if required. Procure a new wing skin detail part not a leading edge skin assembly with bonded nose ribs. Fit the new leading edge wing skin and trim as required. Locate and drill new fastener holes in the nose ribs. Along with the new cold bond adhesive, these will help restore the strength loss due to the disc bond. The fasteners should have a minimum of 2D edge distance with minimum 4D pitch spacing. Fastener locations and spacing will vary. Ream all nose rib fastener holes with a number 30 drill bit or a .1285 diameter. Locate and pick up all existing fastener locations in the forward spar. Countersink the applicable fastener locations and dimple the skin and nose ribs forward of the spar. In order to later install the driven fasteners everywhere except the integrated fuel tank area, additional access holes will likely be required. The structural repair section in the applicable service manual has the instructions and limitations for these access panel installations. Remove the skin, install the new access panel doublers, deburr all material, remove all debris from the wing, clean, and apply Allodyne Chem Film Cessna part number U074093 and apply Exo Nobel 10P8-11 primer to all bare material, Cessna part number K000574 for a 2 ounce kit or K000479 for a 2 gallon kit. Mix cold bond adhesive per manufacturer's recommendations and apply Hysol EA9309 Cessna part number U000701 for a 25 gram kit to all nose rib mating surfaces. Secure the new skin to the nose ribs with Clecos to ensure positive adhesive squeeze out and bonding. This is especially important because the adhesive will likely start to set up before you have time to dry the fasteners. It's recommended to employ plenty of assistance and work quickly to secure the leading edge skin with temporary fasteners before the cold bond adhesive starts to cure. Install all driven fasteners in the dimpled nose ribs first. These should be MS-20 426 AD4 type rivets. Work from the very leading edge of the skin aft along the top and bottom sides to ensure a shear installation 
without any oil canning areas. Install all remaining driven fasteners. In areas where the skin is not dimpled but countersunk, use NAS 1097AD or CM 3827AD type rivets. Universal fasteners are generally MS 2470AD type. Lastly, install the blind fasteners in the wing spar at the integrated fuel tank areas where access is not readily available without major aircraft disassembly. CR 3214-4 type fasteners are generally recommended so the thin skin material isn't knife edged. Clean the skin, Allodyne Chem Film, and apply Axo Nobel 10PA-11 to any bare material and fasteners. Apply finish paint as required to match the existing paint scheme and color. For any structural questions or concerns, please contact Team Structures at 316-517-6061 or email to csstructures at txtav.com. Thank you.